hello everyone here the next topic is solution for the state model state model equation what is this meaning finding the xt value so that means you know state equation is like this the state equation generally x dot equal ax plus b from this we have the x x is there and x dot is there from this we need to find out the x of t value our intention is to find the x of t from the given equation here the equation is there from this we should find out this x of t we have to solve the equation and we should find out for the value for the x of t okay so first in order to solve this we have a differentiation what is x dot dx by dt generally so x dot is i will write like this dx by dt equal to a into x plus b into u okay so whenever in the differential terms are available that time the solving of the equation is dif difficult so in control system we will follow whenever the differential terms is available that time you should apply the laplace transform apply laplace transform the above equation if you apply the laplace transform this what we will get here s into x of s minus x of 0 so differentiation whenever the differentiation is have we have the s and x of t will become into the x of s and whenever we we are using the differentiation after getting the value you should remove the initial value x of 0 and next a into this is the x of s x of s plus again here b into u of s b into u of s okay but here u of s b into u of s and whenever we are doing for x of s what happen so for x for x of t we are doing for the x of t just write in the form of x of t then you will understand very easy this is a into x of t model and b into u okay all right so applying the laplace transform here we have a into x of s plus b into u of s right and now we will find out the x of s terms one side so if you find out this this is the one term s into x of s what is the another term this is minus a into x of s equal and b into u of s plus x of 0 plus x of 0 so from this if you common the x of s if you common the x of s what you will get we will get si minus a here generally here s is available and it is a simply these are all the actually these are the matrix form so whenever the matrix form is there then automatically is multiplied with the i remaining is the a matrix and next is the b into u of s plus x of 0 plus x of 0 okay and so if you take this s of s this term if you take this term into outside then what happen here the x of s is like this si minus a whole inverse into x of 0 this is the one term what is the another term here si minus a whole inverse and b into u of s okay so here si minus a is there is go to this side is it multiplied with si minus a whole inverse x of 0 next b into u of s there this is also si minus a this side will become then whole inverse okay so now from this just apply the apply the lap inverse laplace up to this this is the, we are getting in x of s but what is our requirement our requirement to find the x of t here x of t is available so you should apply by apply inverse laplace transform inverse laplace transform apply the inverse laplace transform what happen it become like this so if you apply 
inverse Laplace for this you will get x of t here so this is the x of t and next here for this it will become Laplace inverse of what is the term is there the term is si minus a whole inverse into x of 0 write down here si minus a whole inverse into x of 0 so this is the one term what about another term and that term is Laplace inverse is there Laplace inverse is there for this si minus a whole inverse and si minus a whole inverse and b into u of s b into u of s so if you clearly observe these equations if you clearly observe these equations what happen here so if you observe here x, x is 0 x of 0 what it represents is there any u is there any u no there is no u generally u of t is nothing but the input variable what is x of t x of t is the state variable state variable state variable so is there any state variable so is there any input variable no but it will give input x of 0 means what it represents x of 0 means this is state but zero state it give it the zero state so it will give sorry z not zero state x of 0 will give the state x of 0 represents the state and is there is x of is the you have the state and we doesn't have the input here you have only x we doesn't have u so that's why i will write like this i will write this term is zero input response this term is the zero input response okay and in this term we have si minus a b is the matrix and u u is available input is available what is not available state is not available so shall i write this zero state response so i will write this the zero state response zero state response so it is only response because of initial state we can write x of 0 means the initial state i will write this response because of initial state x of 0 is there x of 0 i will write initial state is there but initial state starting state so i will write this is the initial state and what about this here u of s is directly available u of s is nothing but the input but in terms of s domain so i will write response i will write response due to response due to input response due to input or response because of input we can write both so from this i will write the x of t equal i will write zero input response and this is the zero state response zero state response finally when you are solving this to get the state variable that, that will be combination of zero input response plus zero state response it is again we can write due to initial state it is possible due to initial state and it is due to the input it is due to the input okay so by combining these two states we will get the input okay yes and so if you it, it is a system so finally we are getting this solution finally we are getting this solution the solution is like this the solution is the like this okay right so so if you apply the laplace inverse laplace transform to this equation how the equations is modified i will write here the equation is like this now the final x of t is you should we will get like this so if you apply inverse laplace transform to this variable thing then you will get this value the value is 
e power a t x of 0 this is the one and what is the another thing the another thing is you will get the integration of 0 to t and e power a t minus tau to b is there and u of tau u of tau and it is a variable of d tau it is a variable of d tau so that means so here t you know tau we should be take the reason is here two variables are there b is there a is there so that's why in terms of tau we will write here okay so again we will write here this is the zero input response and this is the zero state response zero state response so if you observe here this is the time domain this is also time domain it is about completely this equation completely will give in t domain that means it will give in the time domain completely okay yes finally this is the zero input rest uh, response we will get like this and so finally i will write like this the phi of t is the term that is nothing but e power a t phi of t is nothing but the this e power a t okay and that we will get like this laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse laplace inverse of si minus a whole inverse so that will give state transition matrix state transition matrix state transition matrix okay so we are discussing about this the state transition matrix so how we are writing e power at this e power at is nothing but this value this is the value this e power at is nothing but the this is the value okay that e power at is so finally we will get some value phi of t is nothing but the state transition matrix that is phi of t is nothing but e power a t we will get that by doing the applying the laplace inverse to the this si minus a whole inverse matrix so so this is the solution to find out the state model equation that means we give in x dot finally to get the x of t we have to do this calculation okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you